My name is Becky Davis, and I am an interdisciplinary artist. That's a great question. So if I were stranded on a desert island and I only had one creative tool with me, I would want that tool to be a, probably I think paper would be the most practical thing. Like it would be the hardest thing I think to make on my own. Um, and the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I've always been a creative. Uh, I remember being uh, five or six and um, drawing in church, uh, building um, dioramas and shoe boxes. <laughs> like I love to create things. I didn't actually take an art class until I was well into high school, um, but in that art class I had some wonderful teachers who encouraged me, um, and I decided to go to school for art. I had a meandering path to being a professional artist um, once I became an adult, but I eventually um, went to school after my son was born. Um, and uh, that put me on, solidly on the path that I'm on uh, today. There are several things that have surprised me um, on my career path. One is just the generosity and brilliance of people that I get to be in community with. Um, I'm always grateful to have conversations and to share and to collaborate with other folks who are in the arts. Another thing that's been surprising uh, to me is just, I guess, my own capacity for change, how my ideas have developed, how my relationship to um, my own stories, my own past, uh, the world around me has changed. I'm endlessly excited um, and also, um, you know, fascinated by, uh, yeah, the capacity for change. Um, so I, I feel like I've had a very long and winding road of um, experimenting and playing with different mediums, uh, different disciplines, and finding the best language to tell a particular story in. So I feel like um, factors of race and ethnicity are central to my practice. As a storyteller, I feel um, the stories that are most authentic to me are stories dealing with my identity and um, the stories that I grew up with, the stories of my family, and race and ethnicity is at the center of that. So I identify as a Black American, a mother, um, and uh, a person born and raised in the South, uh, a person with a very religious background. And so these elements are part of who I am um, intrinsically. And so they become part of how um, I experience the world and um, by extension, how I choose to tell stories. Art becomes a space for healing, but also imagining a different world. Through art, we can reconnect with ourselves, we can share and connect with others, we can imagine a way out of the, the pain or the challenges that we face. It gives us hope to reach those, uh, those uh, or to build those dreams and to reach them um, through uh, building community, through um, finding ways to connect. Through art, we can really sort of hold ourselves in a different kind of care um, and compassion and connection than we can through um, any other 
uh, discipline. Up until now, I've been focused on, you know, making material sort of um, physical objects or images. So I've had an image-based practice. I've been working with video, um, a little bit with performance. One thing that I always come back to is um, sort of tactility uh, and texture and um, creating experiences that activate multiple senses, um, particularly the sense of touch. So um, I've been thinking about pulling together uh, a book um, or um, objects that read as a book or function as a book. Uh, and incorporating um, a bookmaking practice into my broader creative practice. If I had to choose a wish for the world, I think it would be uh, for everyone to recognize their potential as an artist. Um, I feel that everyone, that art is for everyone, not just folks who identify as artists. And I think that there's space for us all uh, to identify as artists. Everyone has a creative spirit, whether that is manifested through um, painting or photography or cooking or imagining or writing code. <laughs> um, we all create, we all contribute in some way. So um, celebrating uh, the differences, the ways that we contribute and build and imagine new things together, I, I think would be my one wish. Mm -hmm.